Hi everyone, here we're asked to draw the two, two chair conformers for cis-1-ethyl 4-isopropyl cyclohexane and determine which conformer is more stable. So let's go ahead and start off drawing um, the uh, one of the chair conformers here. Okay. All right. Um, now what I need to do here is I'm going to number my carbons and, uh, you know, it's up to you which one you um, determine as carbon one, but I'm just going to go ahead and number like so. Uh, again, I could have started anywhere. That's number four, number five, and number six. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my substituents on here. First thing is I have a cis isomer. So um, your, both of your substituents in this case are either going to have to point up or down. Whether they point up or down is going to depend on the um, way that you numbered your carbon. So carbon number one, I have an ethyl group. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put that in an axial position and um, so there's our ethyl group. And then on carbon number four, I have the isopropyl. So in this case here, um, I can't, I'm not going to draw it axial. I'm going to draw it in an equatorial position. And I'll just go ahead and write iso there. Um, so, and the reason I chose to draw it this way is because the isopropyl group is larger than the ethyl group. So we really, um, uh, you know, I want to put that in the equatorial position. Now, we go ahead and draw the other chair confirmation. So the way I do that is, okay, this way, this time I'll draw my lines like so. This will be the shorter side, and then like so. Now, when I flip this, okay, remember I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this carbon up here and this carbon down here. So this becomes my carbon number four, and this becomes carbon one, and carbon two, three, five, and six. Now remember um, that when the um, when this conformation is flipped, the um, substituents in the equatorial positions will become axial, and the substituents in the axial positions will become equatorial. So in this case here, I'm carbon number one. My ethyl group is going to be equatorial. And carbon number four now, my isopropyl group becomes axial. So looking at these two uh, chair conformers, I see that this one here is more stable. And the reason for that is that I have my isopropyl group in an equatorial position. If the isopropyl group is in the axial position, then there are going to be more uh, steric interactions. And that's going to lead to a more unstable conformer. So the isopropyl group is found in the equatorial position rather than the ethyl group because it is larger. So again, the, the larger the group, more steric interactions take place. So the most stable conformation here is the conformation where the isopropyl group is in the equatorial position.